Jordan Spieth stood on the 10th tee yesterday with a five-shot lead at the Masters. He had led wire to wire, seeking his second straight green jacket. Yeah, just 22 years old. But by the time he left the 12th green, he was three shots behind after a seven on the par 312. Dr. Gary Sater, he's a sort, uh, sports psychologist in Madison with Mental Health Solutions with a closer look at what happened <laughs> to poor Jordan Speed. Hi, Gary. Welcome. Yesterday. Thanks for being with us. Yes, uh, it's good to be here, and thanks for asking me. It, it is the worst nightmare, <laughs> isn't it, uh, for amateurs as well as professionals? And uh, you know, one of the things we don't um, often think about is how some of us naturally come into the world with amazing ability mm -hmm. to focus our attention and to regulate our emotions, yeah. even in high-pressure situations. Um, some of us really have those skills uh, much of the time and stay at a high level of performance. And maybe not just in sports, but uh, in what you do, or in what I do, or, or anybody out there. Uh, but we come to a time where something unusual happens, and it may trigger uh, some thinking, maybe some feelings that uh, hadn't been there before. And that can set in motion uh, a shift in attentional focus, and um, unfortunately, um, uh, the beginning of stress or tension in uh, our muscles, yeah. and it can change uh, what we were doing automatically and easily and pretty consistently. So as you watch it, he, he, he comes to the 10th, he bogeys 10 and 11, and he gets to yes. 12. Had he just locked up? I mean, the, the, a lot, you know, golf is a lot mental too, right? It's a it, lot mental when you get to that point. Uh, I would say it's probably one of the most mentally yeah. challenging sports that are out there. There's a lot of time in between shots. Yeah. What you do uh, in very minute proportions is so important yeah. to the flight of the ball, to, to how that shot is, is going to turn out. And, um, and we're watching him go into the water on consecutive shots on 12 yesterday. This is where it all really fell apart for him. Right, it, it, it really appeared, uh, and I, I, it's not that I've been there live and have watched uh, Jordan, um, but it really did appear as if his body, his swing was just not uh, what it had been previously throughout much of his earlier rounds. And, and that's what happens when we, we choke or we get the yips. Yeah. Uh, it happens in every sport, and, and as I said, it happens to every level of athlete. Uh, and it has to do with where we're paying attention uh, we know that task focus for athletes is amazingly important, which is a focus outward onto the task at hand, staying away from uh, thinking about or attention to our thoughts or our feelings or what's happening in our bodies. And so anything that disrupts that and that attentional focus begins to shift maybe to the tension or the discomfort uh, can interrupt that automatic flow that athletes have uh, in their bodies when they're playing well. But it's a teachable moment, mm -hmm. I think, for everybody. Mm -hmm. We were talking Very. earlier about how many of us have been in the car with our kids at a sporting event yeah. when something went awry. Yeah. There really is something yes. to learn, uh, really about the way Jordan mm -hmm. handled it as well. You, well I mean, he was so gracious yeah. in defeat, and he, he just kept going. He didn't fall apart. Absolutely. He, he, he was very gracious, and, and I think it really shows his true character. And I would imagine, uh, I, I would bet money on Jordan Spieth yeah. uh, coming back yeah. to play the game that he knows how to play. And not knowing his history, I, I don't know if he's been there before. I'd say most professional athletes have been in situations where something interrupted the flow of their game and uh, changed where they were focusing or how they were able to stay ready and relaxed. Uh, and and not tense up and uh, and choke as we say. Well, it's great uh, to have you here, and it's certainly something a lot of the little ones out there oh, can yeah. learn from and Definitely. bounce back and persevere through it. Dr. Gary Sater, thank you very much for Gary, joining us. Gary, great to see you. Very Thanks for coming in tonight. Good to see you too.